Hello, in this video we're going to solve the yield to maturity from a fixed payment loan. Fixed payment loan is a loan that requires periodic payments of a fixed amount for the duration of the loan. The payment includes both principal and interest. There is no face value that has to be paid at maturity. Suppose a bank lends a person $40,000 using a fixed payment loan that requires a borrower to make six annual payments of $7,880.70. What is the yield to maturity? So we're going to set it up like this. This is a $40,000 initial loan. And then we have these reoccurring fixed payments. There are six of them. So the first payment by the borrower occurs one year from now, the second payment two years from now, three years from now, all the way up to the sixth and final year at the end of the sixth year. So R is the yield to maturity. So in other words, what interest rate, what discount rate would make all of these fixed payments equal the loan amount? And the way we're going to solve that is we're going to just enter this data in Excel and use the IRR, internal rate of return formula, to calculate that. And the answer will be the yield to maturity. So entering the data in Excel, I'm going to enter it like this. This is the formula, equal IRR, and then you can just use your mouse to highlight your, the cash flows. And notice I have a minus $40,000 here. So in Excel, the way this is kind of working here is that from the lender's perspective, you have a negative cash flow at the beginning. So you give somebody $40,000, you loan that amount to somebody to buy a car or a boat, and then you'll get these fixed payments for the next uh, six years, and that would be a positive cash flow. So... Entering that formula, you'll find that the interest rate or the yield to maturity here is going to be 5%. All right, that's it. 